Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha and in today's video, as you guys can see by the title, we're going to be talking about weight gain, what I have been doing in the last two weeks, what's been hindering me, what's been causing it and all that good stuff. I will be doing a series for the next week or so, at, at least a week or two regarding getting this weight off. Let's see how long it takes me to get down the gain so make sure you guys have your notification bell on make sure you guys are following me on instagram because i will be updating you with like food updates as well as workouts and all that stuff it's just easier for me to get it on youtube or instagram a lot faster side note you guys are gonna hear my kids um so yeah let's just get into it i weighed in today um you know after honestly i had on clothes after i ate so it wasn't that accurate but it was 234.4. I wrote that down on my calendar for today, Wednesday. And honestly, I wasn't as shocked as I thought I would be. I'm actually on day three of my menstrual. So I, I do have a lot of water retention. Some months are different than others. But when I'm actually on track and eating what I'm supposed to be eating, I only gain about three pounds during my period. And I lose that maybe like two days after my period like it's nothing to be concerned of not even that I'm concerned right now being up nearly 10 pounds however it's just more than the usual because it's more than water retention so it's simply just going back on track and eating what I'm supposed to be eating getting back on a routine I have literally been off my routine for two weeks um I haven't been to the gym in two weeks I am extremely bloated and that's one for my menstrual. I can blame my menstrual, but I also blame myself. I have been eating what I want, fast food, junk. Like when I'm not on a routine, like I definitely fall off and I'm 100% okay with it. Um, I knew this was going to happen. Like I have a few personal things going on, a few changes going on, but I will be back to routine on Monday and back to the gym on Monday, back to square one on Monday. So I'm coming on and being accountable a few days ahead just to get off a few pounds and my daughter screaming my name once my um you know once Tom time of the month goes away let those three or four pounds go down and then continue what I was doing you know whatever whatever I'm not going to be doing a juice cleanse or you know water fast or de I'm not doing any of those things I may add juices in my regimen just because that's a great way to get in some fruits and vegetables it clears out my skin it gives me energy but I won't be like replacing a meal for a juice but I you know I may add in some um juices as well as counting calories. Like I will be doing a few things um, just so you know, I talked about this before. It really helps me um, look at what I've been eating, what I need to eat, what I need to bring back in my diet to get in a whole bunch of protein. Counting calories is not for me for like a lifestyle. However, for a few days, a week, max a month, I notice it always works. It never fails me. Um, it's just tedious and something I don't want to do. However, once I get back in the groove and get back to, you know, like meal prepping and all that stuff, I tend to shy away from tracking my food because, you know, it kind of, for me, it kind of gets redundant because I tend to eat the same things at least for a two week span. Maybe not every week I switch things up, but for like two to three weeks, it's usually the same chicken breast, salmon, um, some fish in the, baked fish in there beside like a white fish, ground turkey, um, things of that nature, a whole bunch of salads, like usually the same things. But I honestly trying to get my kids to eat healthier as well as myself. So I am going to be switching it up a little bit. So I do want to start making videos on that, whether it's reels or youtube shorts because i've really been digging the youtube shorts lately i literally just posted one today um so definitely check that out i don't know the notification on shorts for real they tend to just pop up on my recommendation and that's how i get sucked into it like instagram reels so definitely check that out but i'm gonna probably be coming on like every other day like I used to be just updating you guys. It might not be weight related or it might be. I'm not sure yet. But like I said, make sure you guys have your bell on. 
Make sure you guys are looking at my community tab, uh, my Instagram, because I want to see how fast it's going to, how fast this like little bloat is going to come off. Because like I said, I am up 10 pounds. However, I know it's going to be like, oh my gosh, she just lost like five pounds in two days. It, that's going to happen because I'm so high on my menstrual. Most people or myself included, I usually wait until I'm off my period for at least two days before I weigh myself. But you know, I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling inspired. I feel like I need to come on here and just speak my truth a little bit on what's been going on these last two weeks because I haven't been eating right. I've been drinking. I've been going to the gym. You know, I've just been enjoying myself, but now it's time to get back on track. It hasn't been a full two weeks, but you know, I'm just saying two weeks and it is what it is. And um... Yeah, we're just going to kick it back in gear. So if you guys are in a slump or you guys need to kick it back in gear, it is okay. It is okay if you if you gained a few pounds. Like, it is what it is. Especially when it's bloated weight or whatever. If it's fat, so what? Do not give up. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It is a journey. It does not stop when you lost everything or when you gained a whole bunch of weight back. Just keep going. It's your journey, your choice. So... Like I said, I gained these 10 pounds and um, yeah, um, it's it's in the back of me. There's nothing I can do now but move forward. So that is what I'm going to do. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video and you guys follow my little series on losing this 10 pounds. The goal is to get back down to 224. That is the lowest like maintaining weight I have been. I got down to 221, but that was like for a day or two. 224 I've been there for like a week two weeks before so that is the goal and we're gonna that's our first mini goal to get these 10 pounds off so stay tuned guys bye